Hi friends, this is Bilal Heather and this is my uh, 13th video lecture on expert advisors. In this lecture, I'll be talking about um, switch statement. Um, switch statement uh, is um, basically used uh, use for decisions, um, decisions making and if you have um, one variable or one value and uh, you wanted to um, check um, something about it and <coughs> you can have more than um, two three or um, um, conditions about that switch statement can be used at that um, time so let's start let me make our integer type variable uh, let's call it a and let's set its value to uh, 23 and like um, if else statement um, the switch statement uh, is also used inside some function it cannot be used outside um, outside the function so for a switch statement, you write um, switch and the variable name, and then uh, you make cases. The possible values of this variable um, with uh, which with those values you wanted to do something. For example case um, 12 in the case um, this variable has the value of 12 what we wanted to do we wanted to do alert the value of a equals to plus a and this thing <coughs> Um, adds um, adds um, in this string and it includes uh, it um, gets the value of a and shows a uh, right after um, this thing so we'll see in a moment about that semicolon in there make sure you write colon uh, when you write cases okay and break if you wanted to do um, more than one thing um, uh, with this uh, case you can write more code right here like this and when you finish writing your code you write this break statement um, after you write your code for that particular case let's make another case and case 30 mm, alert the value of a equals plus a and the value of a is uh, higher let's say to differentiate from this uh, from this statement to this statement we changed um, the statement like that and place a break there we can make as much cases as much um, we want and if <coughs> if we um, want to select a default um, value for the uh, message we can write like that default <coughs> the default is the value when <coughs> none of the cases were um, satisfied by this uh, variable for example the a contains the value um, 5 and this is not the case this is not the case and so when it finds no case at all 
it goes to the default value and it um, does whatever written in it this is default value okay so this is all about switch statement and we will execute uh, this uh, in a minute <coughs> I hope you uh, you'll find it useful when when you will be making um, when you will be testing your variable and you wanted to um, do several things from a variable. For example, <coughs> if we uh, wanted to select <coughs> um, lot size um, <coughs> for um, for a particular trade we can do that for example uh, we can pass a moving average in this function and we can make cases of that if um, moving average price was uh, higher than a particular um, a particular value we can change the lot size uh, right here for example the moving average um, becomes more than um, 1.3363 right here this moving average goes to uh, goes to right here and at that moment we wanted to place a trade with a higher lot size we can do that we can <coughs> we can pass a moving average here and we uh, we write that particular um, uh, value of the moving average like that and then we can change the lot size um, writing the code below this case S and so um, for others other uh, moving average values um, we can do a lot l a lot of things with this switch statement but let's check um, how it goes and as you know uh, this function will be executed um, on the next tick um, arrival so let's compile it and attach it to the chart expert advisors my expert and attached click ok and make sure this is on so <coughs> whenever a new value arrives right here it uh, the function the the start function is executed so it execute it executes um, whenever a new tick arrives so here you can see um, when a new tick arrives it gets executed and it shows us that uh, that mm, <coughs> that the the value of a was neither 12 nor 30 but it was something else and that's why it uh, it executed this uh, this piece of code because a was 23 and we made cases only for 12 and 30 if we change uh, this value to 23 and then execute this code uh, compile this code and then execute it it will say the value of a is 23 and that's how switch statement works thank you for watching my tutorial see you in next tutorial